What up guys and welcome back to Thomas Reacts here on the 360 Experience with myself Thomas Mabas. So guys, today I want us to talk about the African National Congress and I also want us to talk about renewal. Man. You know the African National Congress has been speaking about renewal. The ANC has been saying that it is going to renew itself. President Ramaphosa, you remember even when he assumed power, he said that the ANC is going to go through the renewal process. He said that the African National Congress is going to get rid of all these bad apples. So, so guys, what are your thoughts? Do you actually believe that the African National Congress will ever get to a point where they've, they, they can say that as a party we've renewed ourselves? Because that's what the party has been saying for years, but it seems like doing it is harder than saying it. Because that's what the, 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 the former president of, of South Africa and the former president of the African National Congress, Tabumbek, is saying right now. Because it seems like the, 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 the president is not happy about the African National Congress, is not happy about the work that the African National Congress has been doing. He's not even happy about the image of the African National Congress today in 2023. Guys, if you remember, a, a while back, President Mbeki did a speech there in UNISA and that event was organized by Tabumbeki School of African School of School Beke, African School of Public and International Affairs. So Tabumbeki on this speech he spoke about a lot of things, guys. He spoke about ESCOM, he spoke about Brian Mulefe. You remember those guys and Coco Machela and how they were actually demonized when they were when they were actually being the ones who, who were doing a good job there in ESCOM. But right now, today, I want us to focus on the part on the on, on, on the part where Tabumbeki actually talks about the African National Congress and its renewal and and, and he's so disappointed that the African National Congress has failed to renew itself. But me personally, I, I, I must say that I'm disappointed at the president for being disappointed at the African National Congress because I never had hope that the African National Congress would ever even like renew itself. But him, maybe he knows something that I don't know because it seems like he believed, he bought into the idea that the African National Congress at the end of the day is going to renew itself. So guys, let's hear what President Mbeki is saying about the African National Congress and what he thinks about what's been happening with the African National Congress. Nelson Mandela says, addressing an ANC conference, that something wrong is happening, which is that as the ANC we are attracting into our ranks people who are not ANC. People don't have the values of the ANC, but they can see that to be a member of the ANC is to have a step ladder to government mm -hmm. in order to have the possibility to steal. Facts, man. Tabumbek is telling the truth, guys, here. Yeah. Because a lot of people have actually joined the African National Congress not because they want to, to serve the people of South Africa, not because the African National Congress is an old legendary liberation movement that has actually worked for the, for, for the African people, but people joined the African National Congress because of what's been happening there with the African National Congress. Man, these guys have given the ANC a bad name throughout the years, and this party, people loved this party, and I must say that people still love the African National Congress because elections after elections the south africans they keep giving the african national congress a a, a chance again to, to to govern the country despite what the, the the opposition parties are saying the south africans are, are, are loyal actually when it comes to the african national congress but it seems like the party is failing the people it seems like the the the, the party is, is struggling to keep up with the promises that it has made to the people so i feel like that is why it's so it's so it's so disappointed with the african national congress looking at where the party comes and looking at at how how popular the party was back then to looking at where the african national congress it is right now because guys you know when people talk about the African National Congress, people hardly mention good things about the African National Congress. When you say ANC, people, the first thing that they say is that the ANC is corrupt. The ANC, like, that's, that's the first thing that people say, but that's not how it used to be. People actually admired the African National Congress. People actually respected the African National Congress, but throughout the years, man, these guys have done a bad job. They have done a bad job, and South Africans, man, they keep trusting them with their votes. They keep trusting them with their votes, man. That is why when I hear people saying that the African National Congress is going to lose in 2024, man, I'm like, bruh, don't be so sure. Don't be so sure because the voters of the African National Congress will always be there, man. The voters of the African National Congress, it's it, like, guys, take this as a warning, man. If you are for opposition party 
or something you must take this as a warning the voters of the african national congress will always be there the african national congress has a solid base that will always go to the polls to vote for the african national congress no matter what the african national congress does no matter what people say there are those people who will always go to vote for the african national congress you must make peace with that that's why I said that opposition parties must really focus on people who are not interested in voting because a lot of South Africans are not interested in voting. People are not interested in voting. So if you cannot convince people who are, who are not even interested in voting to go to the polls and vote for you, man, man, you might as well forget about winning the elections. You might as well forget about winning the elections because the base of the African National Congress, it's always going to be there. Man, you remember even the last election. The past two elections, people said that the African National Congress right now, it is done. The African National Congress is done. But guess what? The African National Congress still won the elections, man. Even right now, people are saying a lot of things that the African National Congress is out. Right now, we are cleaning house. The ANC is out there. But the question is, guys, have you managed to, to convince the people who, who, who are not interested in voting to go to the polls to vote for you? Or are you hoping that the people who who, who, who always went to the polls to, to, to vote for the African National Congress are now going to vote for you? Because it's so easy for these political parties and the opposition parties and for people to say that, yeah, the African National Congress is done. Now, we are done with the ANC. The ANC is done. Guys, have you convinced the people who are not even interested in voting to go to the polls to vote the next year? Because that's how you are going to win the elections. Because the people who, 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 who are used to, do, to, to, to voting... A lot of them will vote for the ANC. I'm telling you, a lot of them will vote for the ANC. And I remember, man, we were discussing this thing with my friend earlier on, that the reason why, maybe I think, the, why the, 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 the opposition parties, they don't have... The, the, the opposition party, the reason why they are not appealing to the public is because they don't have something they are fighting for, man. They don't have something they are fighting for. They, like the opposition party, there's not there, there's not something that, that makes people wake up in the morning to vote for them. They don't have that thing that makes people wake up and vote for the African National Congress to vote for them. But when you look at the ANC, people think about their Sasa grants, man. You know when people think about losing that grant money, people stand up and go to vote. When grandmothers are actually lied to and been told that guys, if you if 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 you don't wake up and vote for the African National Congress, you might lose your grant. People go out there to vote for the African National Congress. The African National Congress has actually done some some things for for the people of South Africa that actually makes people actually respect the African National Congress. But when it comes to other political parties, it's hard. You look at Freedom Fund Plus, man. You know those guys, the the the, the farmers and, and the farmers and that community. That community will always vote for the Freedom Fund Plus because they need a representation in Parliament. You look at um, ACDP. ACDP is African Christian Democratic. What, what? These guys, they represent religion. So people who are religious will always vote for, for the ACDP. That's why the ACDP has always been there. That's why the Freedom Fund Plus has always been there. It's because these people, there's something that makes people wake up in the morning to say, no, I'm going to vote. You look at the farmers, man, especially the, the, the white African-speaking farmers. These guys will wake up in the morning and vote for the Freedom Fund Plus because they say, wait, we cannot afford for us not to have a representation in parliament. That's why we are going to vote for the Freedom Fund Plus. You see? You remember even, guys, during the time of COVID when, when, when Pastor Mishua was making all, all, all sorts of speeches, the religious people were looking up to him to protect the, 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 the rights of, of, of the religious community. And you look at the ANC, that's why even right now, the President Ramaphosa was reminding South Africans that we have 28 million people who are now depending on social accounts. He knows that those people will never, those people, like, guys, it's going to be so hard to convince people that don't vote for the ANC, especially people who are not working, people who are, who are, who are solely depending on accounts. These people have a different narratives about the African National Congress. So these opposition parties, they don't have anything. They don't have anything that makes people wake up in the morning and be like, just like Freedom Farm Plus, when people be like, nope, I'm a farmer, I need to have a representation in parliament. Just like the ACDP, just like the Inca that they're in Durban. You know the Inca that they're in Natal. Those guys in Natal, they don't want anything to do. Guys, those guys, they want representation in parliament. That's why when, when, when it's election time, the, the, the people will always go there and vote for the Inkata Freedom, Freedom Party. 
I almost said in Kata Freedom Fun in Kata Freedom Fun Plus. What? <laughs> you see? The people there in Natal, they will always vote for Inkata Freedom, Inkata, Inkata, IFP, man. Let me just say IFP because this, this freedom, what, what? Let me just say IFP. These people will always, will always go out there and vote for the IFP. It's because these people, they want a, they want a representation there. And they feel like if, if, if we, do, we are not represented there in parliament, man, some laws m might be passed on us and we might not have any fighting chance because we don't have anyone there in parliament. So this is my warning to the opposition parties that man you need to find you need you need to have something you need to have like you, you need to you need to associate yourself with something man you need to have something all this thing of of, of, of always telling people that the ANC is bad man the, the opposition parties have been telling the people that the ANC is bad for years but South Africans keep voting for the African National Congress so that's 1997 national conference that message has been repeated in all of the national conferences since then but nothing has ever been done to get rid of these ones <laughs> who entered into the ANC without carrying the value system we we beginning of 2020 met uh, 350 leaders of the ANC in Durban. We we're talking about the ANC. So I make a presentation about the ANC, what the ANC is, what it stands for, and, and all that. And later, a young fellow stands up and says, President, I do not know this ANC you are talking about because I joined a faction of the ANC. It's a faction recruited me, identified itself as a faction. That's the ANC I know. The ANC I know is an ANC organized in factions. This one you are talking about, I have never heard of it. This was illustrating a point that the ANC had accumulated within its ranks wrong people. Fact. Wearing ANC t shirts, they know how to toy toy and to sing and dance and all that. But they are not ANC. So the last, the 2017 conference, national conference of the ANC decided that the ANC must renew itself, ah. otherwise it will die. <clears throat> that was in December 2017. Nothing happened in terms of that renewal process, nothing. The last conference in 2022 repeats that message. The ANC must renew itself. Nothing has happened so far. But it That's why, like, guys, I'm asking you, like, guys, do you think that there's any hope for the African National Congress? Is there any hope for the African National Congress, man? Is there any hope for the ANC? ANC must renew itself. I say to the ANC comrades that when I you say I must go campaigning next year, to, to say to people, vote ANC. <coughs> How am I going to do that? To say, vote ANC. When I know very well that the, the branch of the ANC in this constituency is led by a criminal. <coughs> you can't. You could, you could, it's not possible to go and say, vote ANC for a criminal. Man, it sounds like President want the ANC to, to, to lose so that they can learn. It feels like President Beck is saying that, man, the, the, the only way the ANC can, can learn is, is if they lose the elections. Because they have failed after being given chance after chance after chance. It sounds like the President is pissed off with African National Congress and it sounds like he's ready 
for the African National Congress to lose because he's not even going out there to campaign, man. He's, he's not there, for, like, he's not impressed with African National Congress. And I remember after he said that, some people said that President Mbeki is not that popular, man. Even, even, even if he's not there on the campaign, on the, or campaigning for the African National Congress, is not going to mean much. So what are your thoughts? Do you think that President Mbeki is still popular within the African National Congress and within the people in the country? Man? Do you think that President Mbeki is still popular? Do you think that President Mbeki is, is actually that one person who can actually say, guys, just give the NC a chance right now. We are going to work on it, and, I'm, and I promise. And, and and people are going to vote for the for for for, for the African National Congress. Do you think that President Mbeki is still popular, I man? Within the the ANC, do you think that if President Mbeki goes to if if President Mbeki does not go to 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 campaign for the African National Congress, is going to hurt the ANC? Yeah, maybe for business. Yeah, I mean, maybe for business. Yeah, ne? the renewal process is important. But now, colleagues, the, I'm sorry to be talking ANC politics to you. Uh, the obvious challenge with regard to that renewal process is that as, as people talk about this, this ANC must renew itself because it had accumulated wrong sorts of people who are now doing wrong things, being greedy, corrupt, and all this. I look at myself and I say, is going to catch me in this process. <laughs> so what do I do? I must block it. I must make sure it doesn't happen. I'm answering our colleague from the Northern Cape to say let's objectively look at the reality he was talking about. It's a much larger reality of our saying a systematic process to destroy the democratic state all around. I'm talking about even the governing party, which has got people within itself who will resist its renewal and therefore perpetuate this reality that you've got people in the ANC who are greedy who are thieves, who are corrupt, to perpetuate that, if you don't renovate, you don't renew the ANC, you will perpetuate that. That's the reality we've got to deal with. So the question remains, like on the crime issue, what is to be done? So guys, what are your thoughts, man, on this speech? What are your thoughts on this whole thing? Do you think that the ANC will ever get to, to, to a point where they've renewed themselves. So do you think that there's any hope for, for, for the African National Congress, man? Because the president, man, he, he sounds hurt, man. He's hurt about the ANC. He's not happy, man. He knows that the ANC used to be a legendary liberation movement. But today, when people mention the ANC, man, they hardly mention nice things about the African National Congress. So guys, please tell me what, what are your thoughts on this whole things and please don't forget to hit that like button and the most important part guys please subscribe 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 my name is thomas mabaso and i will see you next time bye bye